DW Radio, your information station. Hello, everybody, and welcome to WDW Radio Live. I am Lou Mangello, and this is the WDW Newscast for Wednesday, February 26th, 2014. I am here to help you have the best possible Disney vacation experience and bring you a little bit of Disney magic with this live broadcast every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, as well as the podcast, videos, blog, newsletter, free iPhone app, my books, CDs, and more. You can find everything over at www.radio.com. Speaking of books, tonight's show is sponsored by my new book, which is 102 Ways to Save Money for and at Walt Disney World, it's a 197-page book that can be downloaded to your computer, iPad, iPhone, Kindle, Nook, anything, where I give you 102 ways to have the most magical vacation without breaking the bank. And I'm so confident that you're going to save money that I guarantee it. If you're unable to save the price of the book, I will gladly refund the price back. There's easy-to-follow tips, tools, advice, links to web websites, podcasts, videos, trivia, and some beautiful images. And whether you've been to Disney World one time or a hundred times, I'm guaranteeing that you're going to find a lot of budget-friendly ways, whether you're going alone or with the entire family. Plus, there's more. I include 40 free things to enjoy, eat, do, and collect. Again, you can find out more by visiting the website over at Disney102.com. So let's get into this week's Walt Disney World news. And like I mentioned in the book and like I talk about on the show, it doesn't surprise you or shouldn't surprise you that the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be food because the 19th annual Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, it just got better because it just got bigger. It is now extended to a record 53 days. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of and wine. It runs from September 19th through November 10th. It That beats the previous 46-day event uh, this year. Again, it's going to celebrate a variety of ethnic and specialized food and beverage marketplaces, concerts, live events. You can sort of stroll the promenade, earn stamps to put it in your free passport. There's celebrity and Disney chefs, demonstrations, seminars, concerts, special culinary programs, Lots of renowned winemakers and more. This um, The event dates for the premium things will be announced pretty soon, but you can go to EpcotFoodFestival.com or call 407-WDW-FEST for more information. Now, if you have been following me or following the show, you know I am a seven-year-old boy trapped in a much older body. I love Disney. I love Star Wars. And I love Muppets. So as Disney was acquiring all these properties... I was sort of embracing my childhood, and when they bought Marvel, the circle was now complete. And as you know, I ran my first and only half marathon back in 2008, but we've got the running team. I love attending, cheering, and doing 5Ks at the Walt Disney World Marathon events. Well, Run Disney this week told you to get ready because they were going to smash the half with a new announcement, and they did so amidst a flurry of excitement and people not getting a lot of work done as they were waiting for the announcement on Twitter. Well, Disney, Run Disney just announced the new Avengers Superhero Half Marathon Weekend at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California, debuting November 14th through the 16th, 2014. The new three-day race weekend is going to have kids' races, a 5K and a half marathon, plus a ton of family-friendly events, a health and fitness expo, a pre-race a pre pasta in the park party. They say that 10 times fast, but you pasta in Disneyland, it doesn't get much better. Registration is going to open on March 25th at rundisney.com. We are expecting to see lots of superhero-themed entertainment and I think like all other Run Disney events, it's going to be in super huge high demand. Other run Disney event weekends have sold out in record time. I expect this to be no different because it's Marvel, because it's Avengers, because it's Disneyland, and because it's inaugural. All those things are the perfect storm for an awesome race. And if you think about it, run Disney race weekends attracted about 164,000 runners last year. It's a 40% increase from the past year. So it makes these run Disney events some of the largest in the nation because these events are not... Disney events for marathoners, they are also marathon events for Disney fans. And I think there's a, a great combination that runners can do a Disney event and Disney fans who've never run before can participate 
in a run Disney events like this. The Avengers Half Marathon Weekend is going to be the eighth run Disney event and the third at the Disneyland Resort joining the Tinkerbell Half Marathon Weekend. That's going to be May 7th through the 10th, 2015. And the Disneyland Half, which is going to be August 28th through the 31st, 2014. The thing that makes this uh, race also unique, too, it's going to be a completely new 13.1-mile course throughout Disneyland and the surrounding areas, different than Tinkerbell and the Disney Marathon, the Disneyland Half Marathon. And, of course, it's going to be all about that very cool, I would anticipate, Avengers-themed medal. I will tell you, I am going to be out there for the uh, Avengers Half Marathon event weekend. I am going to participate. I'm just not going to reveal what I plan on doing yet. So stay tuned. We're going to do some cool stuff out there as well. I'm going to do a WW Radio event uh, to, to celebrate the Avengers inaugural Half Marathon weekend. So definitely plan on coming out there this November. Again, it's November 14th through the 16th, 2014. Let's quickly jump back to Walt Disney World because a lot of us have been anticipating the new parade coming to the Magic Kingdom. Well, Disney announced this week that the Festival of Fantasy Parade is going to debut Sunday, March 9th at the Magic Kingdom. Now, if that means if you have a trip planned for March 9th or beyond, you can start preparing. And at, because it's eligible for Fast Pass Plus, you can start adding the parade to your Fast Pass Plus plans now, Fast Pass Plus plans, you know what I mean, right now. Uh, also, in the Magic, in the, over in the Magic Kingdom, one of my favorite quick service dining locations, Casey's Corner, has just reopened after a long refurbishment, and I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news, and they're pretty much tied into the same thing. The good news is there are, is now expanded indoor seating at Casey's Corner. Great news, right? It's very popular, sometimes tough to get seating in there. Bad news? In order to make room for the new tables and chairs, the, the, the thing that really was the signature of Casey's Corner, the bleacher-style style seats, and the screen showing the sports-themed Disney shorts are gone. Unfortunately, may they rest in peace. A lot of the other decor on the walls, that baseball-themed memorabilia, the Mudville um, uh, you know, signage up on the walls there, but the bleacher seats are unfortunately gone, but it, do, it does add some much-needed uh, seating locations inside Casey's Corner. Try the corn dog nuggets. They're delicious and shareable and under $5. Check the video. Uh, let's move over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Again, I told you what a big dork I am, right? You know how excited I get every year for Star Wars weekends. Going back to 1997, special Star Wars weekends have been over at Disney's Hollywood Studios, including celebrity appearances, trivia contests, prize giveaways, Star Tours ride-a-thons, the, the street party, live DJs. Who knows what's going to be in store this week? We're hearing there's going to be a new fireworks uh, exhibit as well at night. But the big news is that an extra weekend has been added. There's now going to be five Star Wars weekends running from May 16th through June 15th, 2014. James Arnold Taylor has been announced as returning as the official celebrity host. He is the voice of hundreds of animated characters. You've got to see his one-man show if you go. He's Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars The Clone Wars. And the theme this year, as you can check out by the new artwork, is... Join the Rebellion. So definitely looking forward to that. We will, of course, have a Star Wars meet of the month sometime at Hollywood Studios during one of those five weekends. Really looking forward to that and to see what is going to be new coming this year. So we're going to move out of the parks and away from running because I just get tired thinking about it. And dare I say, even away from food. And let's talk movies, right? Because finally, Disney has announced and revealed something that I was hoping was going to come for a long, long time because Disney just revealed this new cloud-based digital movie service called Disney Movies Anywhere, and his name is exactly what it is. It is a new app for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, as well as on the web, that allows you to find, purchase, manage, and watch movies from Disney Pixar and Marvel, whether you're at home or on the road, it connects directly to iTunes. It coincides with the release of Frozen, and it features not just a few films, but 400 active digital titles. And for a limited time, if you sign up and connect it to your iTunes account, you get a free digital copy of The Incredibles by Disney Pixar. So what does this app and what does this service actually do? Think about it as unlocking all this content across all your platforms and devices. So if you own Disney digital content on your iPhone or on your computer, you're now going to be able to watch it and enjoy it 
anywhere. It's got a real easy to use interface and you can watch live action films, Disney, Pixar, Marvel. There's exclusive content, bonus features, previews, and lots more. It's not just sort of the basic film in itself. And again, when you connect your iTunes account, you can start populating iTunes with your sort of Disney digital movie locker and watching online and anywhere. And the cool thing too, you can also get simultaneous access on multiple devices. So you're not sort of restricted to just watching one or one at a time. You can stream it, you can download it, you can log in, it's for Mac and PC. So people were asking if you own some of the older DVDs that have, uh, so like I think about past 2008, uh, Disney included codes in some DVD and Blu-ray products redeemable for digital copies. You can redeem those codes through Disney Movies Anywhere and those digital copies that you previously purchased if I can say that fast, now I'm going to transfer over to iTunes and the Disney movies anywhere in your account. Everything is connected. I've been using it for the last couple of days. It is seamless. It is easy. I love the interface. It's lightning fast. It's so, so easy to use. The app is for free at the App Store at by visiting appstore.com slash Disney. You can also sign up through the Disney movies anywhere website. I think this is a huge leap for Disney. A lot of people were wondering, <clears throat> when is Disney going to get into this streaming media game? Was it going to be Netflix? Was it going to be Hulu? Was it going to be something else? They obviously were working and building this platform on their own. I think it is one of the coolest and easiest to use of any of, of, any of the, the streaming media services. I, I'm thrilled that there's more than 400 titles, so you can get all those old films that you can't find on Amazon, you can't find them at Best Buy, you can't find them on Netflix, they're all there. It's a great way to introduce yourself or your kids or your family to some of those classics. Again, such a great interface to use and very, very fast and the quality has been exceptional uh, in the, the little bit of tests that I've been doing on it in the last couple of days. So I wanna hear from you. Have you tried this new Disney Movies Anywhere service? If not, why? Are you going to sign up? Have you connected to iTunes? And what do you think about it? Leave your responses in the comments section below or on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Radio, or on Facebook, facebook.com slash Radio, or you can tweet me, I am at Lou Mangiello. Speaking of videos, be sure and check out our videos page either on the site or on YouTube. Got a couple of new videos, including a sneak, sneak peek, I can't speak tonight, of the Festival of Fantasy Parade and my quest for the top five cupcakes at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Warning, kids, don't watch if you're hungry. So that is going to do it for this week's show. Please be sure and tune in next week over at www.radiolive.com and every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Please visit the website over at www.radio.com. Check out the blog, podcast, videos. Download the free WW Radio app for your iPhone, Kindle, uh, sorry, iPhone, Android, or Windows mobile device. Subscribe to the newsletter. And more importantly, please help spread the word. Tell your friends, uh, share links and comments over on Facebook, and tweet me over on Twitter. And uh, thank you again for taking the time and tuning in this and every week. So until next time, have a great week, everybody. I'm Lou Mangello. Have a great night. See ya. <laughs>